Hi, welcome back. I am Rajesh from Cloud Tutors and today's question is how did Eratosthenes calculate the circumference of earth more than 2000 years ago? Now the circumference of earth is a simple thing to find out especially if you have Google. We don't even give it a second thought. But when there was no such technology 2000 years ago in a world where perhaps most people believed that the earth was flat to have conceived of an approach to have thought of an experiment to determine the circumference of earth is a, a, a remarkable thing it's a wonderful story in the history of mathematics it is an inspiring story and one that we should all know about. This is the STEM the Confusion series from Cloud Tutors and this is the question we will answer today. How did he do it? Now, if you look at how we have calculated the radius or circumference of Earth in modern times, you should know that technology has a lot to do with it. The extremely accurate understanding of Earth's circumference is because of the numerous satellites we have orbiting Earth and they have been orbiting since the 1950s and they have used sophisticated laser ranging technology to determine the circumference of earth but 2200 years ago how did Eratosthenes do it and this is a, a remarkable question to ponder and it tells us many interesting lessons about the man and his method what did he do he enlisted the help of a friend and Eratosthenes was was Greek but at that time uh, the Greeks occupied parts of Egypt so this experiment was conducted in uh, Egypt you can recognize that Alexandria is, is still a city in in Egypt so this specific experiment that I'm describing to you was conducted by Greeks in Egypt back then he chose two locations for his experiment one was a town called Syene and another Alexandria now Syene was selected because on a particular day the Sun would be directly overhead in Syene which meant there would be no shadow he chose the spot and he chose the day to conduct the experiment the day when the Sun would be directly overhead in Syene so no shadows in Syene in another location Alexandria 800 kilometers away he erected a pole of known length and of course in Alexandria the Sun was not directly overhead and therefore the pole cast a shadow and this was the experiment he conducted the simplicity of it is amazing the distance between Syene and Alexandria we now express as 800 kilometers but kilometer is a modern unit Aristonasis must have expressed the distance between these towns using a different unit in this experiment what was the measurement he made of course in Syene there was no shadow but in Alexandria he measured the length of the shadow and he was able therefore to calculate this angle knowing the length of the pole that is the height of the pole the height of the shadow you could calculate this angle 
it is simple mathematics to calculate the angle of that triangle now knowing that this side is parallel to this side you can conclude that these two angles are equal so we have found out that these two angles are 7 degrees using basic mathematics knowing the length of the pole the length of its shadow basic properties of triangles the angle is 7 degrees so the angle created by this distance between these two towns of 800 kilometers is 7 degrees now we go to the next part of the calculation we have known that the distance between points a and b is 800 kilometers and the angle is 7 degrees at the center of earth it's basic geometry then what happens then a little bit of mathematics will tell us that if 7 degrees angle at the center of the earth corresponds to 800 kilometers distance on the surface of earth then 360 degrees will correspond to the circumference of earth which is 41000 kilometers now this is a remarkably accurate calculation for an experiment so simple now don't be disappointed by the simplicity of the calculation know that this man aristonis 2200 years ago one had to begin to suspect that the earth is not flat he had the imagination to devise an experiment wonderfully simple he had knowledge of the movement of the sun to know that the sun would be directly overhead above syene that day and then he picked the spot 800 kilometers away in alexandria to measure the angle using the length of the shadow of a pole and these had to be carefully coordinated to occur on that day so the knowledge of the shape of the earth the knowledge of basic uh, geometry and arithmetic the knowledge that the sun would be overhead on that day in that town 2200 years ago remarkable this is a story which is illustrative it is it's inspiring there are numerous examples of man having discovered the size of earth the size of the sun the size of the moon the distance between the earth and the sun distance between the earth and the moon all of these using similar simple experiments and it tells us about the ingenuity of these men and i hope this video created a sense of wonder for the math that these men used back then to discover amazing things thank you for watching